What's up guys, Odov here with another StarkNet video. Today we're going to be talking about DeFi applications on the StarkNet. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look from the potential airdrop perspective. As usual, nothing here is financial advice and always do your own research. Now, before we dive into the applications, I want to touch on one thing regarding the StarkNet uh, airdrop itself because in the last video about the StarkNet we didn't have the numbers at that time now we do have some numbers and I saw numerous people influencers media just like taking TLDR from this post and basically saying StarkNet is going to airdrop 1.8 billion to users and there is absolutely zero chance that 1.8 bill is going to be airdropped to the users. Now, if we take a look at the actual post here, first, not really connected to the airdrop, but still relevant, especially for today's video, is the fact that it's going to be 50 million StarkNet tokens allocated specifically to DeFi protocols to promote growth. Just like keep that in mind. Now, going back to this 1.8 billion, uh, if we take a look at the structure, again, half of that, it says that it's going to be allocated for fair, decentralized and transparent distribution over multiple programs and phases. So already, even if we don't know who's going to be eligible for this portion, we already know it's not going to be uh, dumped all at once. And it says that uh, objective is to distribute the token in rewards to past and future contributions by users and community members. So my bet here is that if you are just a regular user of the StarkNet, if you have been a regular user and you haven't contributed in any way uh, to the growth and development of the, of the StarkNet, this is not pool for you. Hopefully I am wrong and maybe like some small part of that portion is going to be allocated to users. But I think in general, users are going to share this pool, network rebates. And even from the title itself, you can sort of gain that this is rebates for your gas spend. So obviously here we don't know how they're going to calculate that. Is it going to be straight up from the gas spend or just some other metrics? We'll see about that. That's just the end of my point here regarding the StarkNet airdrop itself. Now let's dive into the apps. Now here we're going to take DeFi Llamas metrics in terms of TVL and we're not going to go over apps that have less than a million uh, TVL. That obviously doesn't apply to aggregators. So first let's touch on lending and borrowing protocols that are currently two big players on StarkNet. The first one is ZK Land and then we have Nostra. Until recently ZK Land was by far the biggest, uh, but recently Nostra kinda caught up. And why they caught up? Because they launched the point system. As you can see the TVL graph not too much, not too much than December. It was just over a million before they launched the point system and now they sitting at around 4 million. Now, if we check Nostra points program and I also want to stress one thing here. Every app that currently has a running point system, it's not tied to any confirmed airdrops. So you have to take it at a face value. So obviously decide for yourself whether or not you want to participate in this app, in any other apps that may have this incentive in terms of leaderboard or point system, completely up to you. But regarding the stats here, uh, as you can see, currently there is 131K people who have any amount of points. That being said though, uh, my current rank is around 28k and I believe I only dropped like 50 bucks or something. Let me check. So it was 0.05 ETH and I believe I did it several days ago. So I would say probably like 90k of these people do not have any significant amount of points. So currently we're looking at around like 40k people participating actually. Now in terms of functionality, this is pretty standard. You can land assets. For assets, we have ETH, wrapped BTC, and then three stable coins. So we have DAI, USDC, and USDC. Regarding points acquisition, you get one point for one USD worth of stable coins provided, or two points for one USD worth of ETH or wrapped BTC provided. Uh, borrow gives you 4x that amount. 
So four points for one USD borrowed if you're borrowing stables and eight points for one USD worth of uh, borrowed ETH or wrapped BTC. The only big issue with the borrow for me here is that you cannot borrow less than 500 USD worth of assets. And second lending and borrowing protocol is ZK Land. Uh, we don't have currently any point system. However, token here is confirmed. We do have the tokenomics. Uh, obviously, nothing is being stated specifically in terms of the airdrops here, but airdrops may as well be like in the ecosystem rewards uh, easily. In terms of functionality, it's pretty much the same. There is one difference that you can use wrapped STE here as well, in addition to the same tokens present at Nostra. Okay, we're gonna move on to other sort of applications. These are gonna be DEX aggregators. Here we also have two applications present. First one is Avnu. This is probably the first DEX aggregator and more known, I would say, uh, compared to Fibras. Here we have the point system and the leaderboard. Again, if you read the doc, there is no connection uh, to the potential airdrop, no mentioning of the token, at least I haven't seen any. Scoring system is pretty self-explanatory here. You earn points with every transaction, depending on the volume, and then you have like a modifier, additional bonus for the consistent swaps. So that's Avno, and the second app is Fibrous. Here we also have the leaderboard, but it's uh, a bit different. So we have like seasons here, first two are finished. The first one was based on the amount of transactions. Second was based on the volume and the third says coming soon. And obviously no confirmed connections between these points and the potential token in the future. Uh, now to the actual DEXs. We have Ikubo, Jedi Swap, MySwap, 10K Swap, and Sith swap. Anything below that, I'm not really considering right now. The only DEX that currently uses the point system and the little board is Ikubo. However, here the point system works a bit differently. We're not gonna go in depth here, uh, but you can read this document. If you uh, take a look at the little board, you can click here on learn more and get to this doc. The rest of the DEXs currently do not have any incentive programs that I am aware of. So to summarize for DEXs, not much incentives here currently, especially in terms of liquidity. We can see that only Cuba will give you some points and other DEXs if you provide in liquidity. I mean, obviously you do get some profits out of that, but as for additional incentives, we'll have to wait probably until the next year. And as for swaps, again, no clear incentives. I would probably be using Avno for the nearest future. And then again, wait for further announcements from the protocols. I think on the Starknet, a lot of apps now, they sort of waiting for the official uh, announcements on confirmation on the Starknet token launch. And after that, apps on the ecosystem will start launching their own tokens. At least it seems logical to me. So I'm personally not expecting any error drops from the apps on the Starknet before the actual launch of the Starknet token. Unless, of course, this is somehow delayed, but that's kind of improbable at this point. That's all I wanted to cover here. Thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, please drop a like, and I'll see you soon.